In addition to the required components of a CPP Learning Collaborative, there are a number of training components that we highly recommend, particularly if this is a large system that is seeking to implement and sustain CPP. During the pre-work phase, prior to beginning the Learning Collaborative, it may be helpful to have the support of your CPP trainer to think about how to tailor the LC application process for your system. To identify your system's needs and determine how to select agency teams that are most likely to be able to sustain CPP and serve young children and their families. And to think about how to best support the system and the therapist in gaining knowledge that would be foundational to CPP, such as knowledge of early childhood development, relationship assessment, sociocultural considerations, particularly as related to addressing the impact of trauma on diverse families, the development of trauma-informed systems to support CPP, care coordination and interfacing with other systems that impact the lives and well-being of young children. A call specifically to support supervisors is often recommended as part of a learning collaborative. This is a call held only for supervisors. Supervisors present supervision cases and discuss CPP supervision. It's typically held once a month, and it's particularly helpful when supervisors are learning the model at the same time as supervisees. Having supervisors who are able to support their team generally leads to greater sustainability. A senior leader call is recommended particularly for large systems. It's usually held once every quarter or every six months, and it's a time for systems leaders to think with the CPP trainer about any challenges aligning CPP and systems policies and procedures, the degree to which they feel CPP matches the needs of their families, uh, ways to support therapist learning, and as the learning collaborative progresses, it becomes important to think about CPP sustainability. Many CPP trainers offer trainings in areas that are foundational to CPP. Different trainers have different areas of expertise, so you should check with the trainer that you're working with to learn about their areas of expertise and determine how they might support you. Here are some possible topics. Child development, reflective supervision, caregiver child relationship assessment, partnering with specific systems like child welfare or the courts, early childhood trauma, trauma-informed systems, diversity-informed practice, and engagement. Training in these areas foundational to CPP may occur either before a learning collaborative takes place or during the course of a learning collaborative as potential areas of growth are identified. The next video provides an overview of our CPP rostering process.